Well, one thing always leads to another. You get one thing and then you gotta get something else to use with it. So, uh, this thing wasn't real expensive though. I think it was like $35 or something like that. It's the uh, Frankfurt Arsenal Wet Dry Media Separator. So, I don't know. I've been just using uh, just a regular sifting pan and like a bowl to separate them and I mean it's been working out fine but it seems like this would be a lot easier to use um, and just quicker probably. so there's what it looks like coming out of there and it's got uh, two two pans and this is actually supposed to be the bottom pan because it's got right there it's got a screen where the you're supposed to be able to pour water and pour the water out of that and um, of course there's the sifter bowl and then there's the uh, this I thought was the bottom because it had a screen on but that's actually the top um, and then when you get done uh, you can dump them in here and you're supposed to run water you know and sift them around in here and rinse them rinse them out uh, after you get done with the sifting so uh, we're going to give it a try, give it a shot here and see how much easier it is than what I've been doing. Okay, right off, uh, this thing's got a very interesting latching mechanism on it. It's like really hard uh, rubber, which I guess is good, but it's really kind of awkward, um, you know, to get it to get it latched up. But, I mean, once it's there, it's solid. I mean, it's not going anywhere. Uh, the handles they snapped on just fine and it's actually got two little notches here in it the this little notch well if it'll even go in the little notch but the little notch right here is supposed to be for uh, loading it so it doesn't so it doesn't turn maybe you have to get it yeah I don't know but that little notch right there is supposed to be for, maybe it goes this way, I don't know. But the little notch, if I can figure out how to use it, the little notch is for loading it so it doesn't turn on you. Okay, yeah, I guess that's, I guess that's pretty well locked there. So the little notch is for loading it and then the big, big notch is for turning it once you get it, once you get loaded. All right, maybe I can do this. I'm making a total fool of myself, but. It actually recommends filling it, uh, you know, like with some water in the bottom of it up to a line and then turning it around or whatever. But I've just rinsed this out. I mean, I usually do after I pour the water out and I usually don't have a whole lot of trouble with the pins and stuff getting out of there. I mean, there's a little bit of water left in here, but, you know, pour the dirty water out, put some more in there, swish it around. Do that two or three times. It's not really a, it's not really a big deal. this thing up. We'll put that right there. Put the cover on here so I don't have pins shooting out everywhere. And give this thing right there. So, dump that in there. Now they recommend running some water on those and sifting those out with the strainer on the bottom. So I'll go do that. Alright, so there's what's left in the bottom. It's got a little bit of water in there. Um, and it's got this little strainer right here that you can uh, you know, dump the water out without losing your pins. So. I'm gonna go finish this up real quick. All right, so did it work? Yes. Is it the greatest thing since sliced bread? 
no it's fine uh you know it's a good thing to have it, it was easier uh this is kind of a weird deal i mean you're supposed to be able to pour the pour the water you know through this right here and but it doesn't work that great i mean i had some pins get out of there and these little pins they're they're a pain you know uh really uh i think it was charles irby i'm pretty sure he told me get a get a magnet so i need to get like a big magnet it seems, almost seems like this pan here would be the better thing to dump the pins in let the water drain out the bottom you know but uh that's supposed to be for washing your brass but you know at the end of the day it worked i mean i have a lot of i got all this right here and i mean the wet tumbler it gets it clean man it gets it clean inside and out primer pockets i mean you know it's a bunch of nine millimeter there start loading some nine millimeter so there it is a frankford arsenal wet dry tumbler and of course you can use it for dry tumbling basically just you know that it's pretty simple you just dump the stuff in there and turn it and then dump the media back into your uh you know tumbler thing and you're you're good to go so but i just figured i'd show that and show everybody that i got it and thanks for watching hope everybody's doing good if you got any questions or comments just let me know i always appreciate your comments until next time take care